your show where we help you make sense of your dispensary. And on today's review, I've got with me Bakery Fresh Goodness. That's right, guys. We're taking a look at Odd on clearance from Ralph's for $1.49, double chocolate loaf cake. That's right, guys. We are taking a look at straight from the Ralph's Bakery, about 24 hours old. And I guess actually about 48 hours old because it was already 24 hours old because that's why it was at the uh, clearance section. We're taking a look at the double chocolate loaf cake, but that's not true at all. We just got the double chocolate loaf cake here because we are doing another gummy review. It has been a while since we've reviewed some gummies. So I figured it's time to dip our toe back in gummy land and take a look at Cushy Edibles. Watermelon rings contains 320 milligrams. I picked this up at my dispensary for 15 bucks, so a hell of a good deal, which should be red flags, sirens blaring. What do we have here? Shitty packaging, just stickers on a Ziploc bag, an exagger and a lot of milligramage. Oh, gummies. Obviously, gummies are already outside of the few examples. Look at Flourish. Look at um, uh, occasionally Cushy Punch or Tiki Killers. Uh, we've got exaggerated milligramage and a cheap price. So that all tells us that this might not be as good as advertised. We're going to give them the benefit of the doubt and hope they're amazing, but mm, who knows? When you see too good to be true pricing, shitty packaging, and gummies, it's usually a recipe for failure. But as I said, we will give them the benefit of the doubt and cross our fingers and hope that they are going to work. So why do I have this double chocolate loaf cake? Well, just to maximize my chances of getting high, I like to take a little bit of fat beforehand, just something to help process the THC in case it hasn't been properly managed. So, big old bite of the double chocolate loaf. I have a feeling that's gonna be the best tasting thing in this review. That was $1.49 at Ralph's on clearance. It's still really good. That's my dog, Nart. Her real name's Noop, I call her Nart. Okay, that's enough loaf cake for now. Let's open up the packaging. Woo! These are stinky and ugly. They're very green, these watermelon rings. Um, wow, look at how ugly that is. It is just green all over. Um... If they're trying to win the contest for most edible looking, most like, looks like it has weed in it, they're doing a pretty damn good job. But again, it's not a contest about how it looks. It's about how it makes you feel. But before you have to feel anything, you got to try to taste it. And I have a feeling I'm not going to like the taste of these. So here we go. That's kind of weird. It's like the... What? It doesn't... That's kind of a neutral weedy taste, but it's not terrible. It's not as bad as Edipure infused creations with their awful, bitter, gross aftertaste. This isn't that bad, but... The weedy tasting part is like the sugar on top. It's quite odd. Each one of these claims to be a 20 dose, 20 milligram edible. Really doubt that. Um, huh. Very curious. Again, they're not great tasting, but they're far from the worst tasting gummies I've ever had. Um, I'm really intrigued by what is on top or whatever process they're using to uh, get the cannabis infused. It's really strange, really strange. I've never had an edible quite like this. Um, so guys, well, now I'm more curious than I, I was before. When it comes to Cushy Edibles watermelon rings handcrafted in Los Angeles, we're just gonna have to do the wait and see approach because I'm really not sure. So guys, I'm gonna come back to you guys in two hours to let you know for sure exactly how it's going. I'm gonna finish off this whole bag, this 320 milligrams, we'll see. And I will let you know exactly how we're doing. Thanks so much for watching Wheats, and I'll see you in just a bit. Peace.
two hours since I had the cushy edibles watermelon rings and ooh, um, I don't, it's definitely not 320 milligrams. Uh, and we kind of knew that ahead of time. And that's a huge strike against them exaggerating their potency, but they're not totally devoid of potency. I'm certainly a little high. I'm kind of in the five ish range. Um, and I just don't know about the taste. It wasn't disgusting, but there was something very off-putting about having the sugar coating be the thing that has, like, the is cannabis-infused. It was, it was very odd-tasting. It wasn't disgusting, but it was disconcerting in some ways. I, I don't know. I don't know how to articulate it exactly. Um, well, it does say lab-tested on it, again, which is, you know, of course they're going to say that. Oh, it is infused coconut oil. I'm seeing that now. And that must be the sh or the sugar that's infused. <sighs> I I I didn't hate it. Um, I totally it, it's 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 I'm confused by this one because she edibles, uh, because it is po it does have some potency and it's affordable. I got it for a pretty good price. I just don't think it's as potent as they're saying, and it's not going to get you outrageously high. Uh, I do have another cushy edibles to review, and I am certainly going to review it. So I would say. Hold off for now. Don't pick up any cushy edibles. We'll see what the second one does. If that review is favorable or, you know, negative, whatever the case may be, that's going to be our final determination. But for now, if you see them at your dispensary and they are super cheap and you like gummy candy, maybe give it a shot. Uh, but I, I think I would tell people to hold off for now and let's see for the second review if they're going to, you know, prove to be good or bad. Hopefully we'll get a determination one way or the other. All right, guys, and that's going to do it for this review here on Wheats. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I was a little bit waffly here. I just, I don't want to tell you to rush out and pick these up uh, because, again, I don't think they're as, on, I don't think there's 320 milligrams in there, but they're not without their merits either, uh, and they just have a very odd taste. Sorry. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys on the next review. Peace.